Pierre from Seven Days, it's, it's all man's idea. Because I don't think that a, a, a true being but why did of God create this me? magnitude... Uh, why did well, see, that's, be, that's, be, uh, that's beyond our understandings. And see, some people... No, it's right there in the book. No, it's not in the book. That's, see, that, <laughs> once again, you've taken... See, once again, you've taken on with a man said because you can't say without okay, a reasonable okay, thinking, doubt no, I'm that saying, you know according, hold on. To, according to your view of the Bible okay let's let's not look mm -hmm. at whether it's true whether it's real let's not look let's put all that on off the table okay simply okay. based off your understanding of the Bible why did God create man to do what well first of all you, you, you're asking me a question but you're telling me to throw throw whether it's, whether it's not a true now you ask me why did God create man first of all the word God to me I'm just once no, again it's just, let's a, just stick a with, let's just stick with the teaching purposes only God the concept of God the concept of the Bible this that and the other I'm just asking you why okay so okay far as the, okay as far as the Bible concept goes why did uh, God create man honestly to be honest with you from far as the concept of how the Bible put it, I really don't know why he created man. Thank you. Because why Thank would God why would a God why would a God let me ask you this, but why would a God need to create a man? He's a God. <laughs> Unless it's for his own personal entertainment. I love right? it. Dude, you dude, I love it. I'm so glad you said what you said. So would you like to know why the Bible said that God created man? Well see, that's your perception. And all you're gonna do is give me your reason. No, Are I'm you just gonna give me the said. Bible? I'm gonna just say what it said. You're gonna give me the you're gonna give me the you're gonna give me the perception of the writers, of how the writers wrote it and what it meant to them why God created people. Right. Now I understand that. Uh, no, I was just, But then you asked me I personally, just, I was just simply asking you. Did you have the knowledge yeah. of why the Bible said God created man? On a, on a personal level, and on a personal level, I wouldn't, to be honest, truly, I, I don't, I wouldn't even begin to understand why a God would create us. Thank you for to saying. To be honest, thank you for saying that. But far as the Bible concept goes, I get why God created human beings. Why? What did the Bible say God created man? Well, if you don't know, God, it's okay to say you don't know. It's okay. There's no shame. Well, no me, well, to me, it would just be. It would. It would feel like my own kind. But even though it's it's the Bible's concept of what God created, because it doesn't really say why He created human. It, it doesn't give a detail why God created man. It does. Does it give that? Yes. Well, you you tell it to me. God created man to have dominion over the earth. To manage, to rule, and to control the earth, to but dominate. See, but, but 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 hold on, it's more than just the earth. That's what you not understand. Hold on, the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth. That's what man was created to do: to dominate, to rule, to govern the earth. That's why man was created. And you know when people say, "Well, uh, well, if God is a loving God. Well, why would He allow uh, uh, babies to get raped? Why would He allow slavery to happen? Why would He allow?" It's because God created man and told man to subdue the earth. That word "subdue" means to bring under subjection, to rule, to reign, to control. That is man's job. So if anything happens in the earth, it happened on man's watch. If anything is going to be changed, it's going to have to be changed by man. Every time something was done in the earth, it was done through a man. Because that's the way the earth is set up. And so this is when people people get angry at, at God and say, well, man, it, God can't be real because, you know what I'm saying, uh, all this stuff happened and this happened and that happened. If God was real, why did he? God created man and told man to subdue the earth, told man to have authority and dominion in the earth. Man sat back and said, nah, I'm going to let, uh-uh, because I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody that can save everybody. No, 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 no. 
That's not how God set it up. God puts you in the earth to rule, to have dominion, to control things. And you know how, unfortunately, a lot of people, religious people say, well, you know, God is in control. Sorry, but he's not. God is not in control. That's not in the Bible. Matter of fact, the word control is nowhere in the scriptures. 